The flood situation in the region continues to be grim with lakhs affected across states. Along with Assam, Manipur is the latest state to be affected by the deluge with over six districts at the receiving end. The district administration with support from Water Resources Department officials, security forces and others are trying to actively manage all rivers and aiding residents in preventing breaches of river banks or embankments as water levels in Imphal and Iron rivers overflowed. Meanwhile, the state government declared a public holiday today due to the severe flooding caused by incessant rains in various districts of the state. University semester exams at Manipur University have also been postponed due to the flood situation. All government offices, public sector undertakings, corporations, autonomous bodies and societies will remain closed on July 3rd. The government has also issued a separate order for schools and colleges to remain closed in the state. The districts affected by the flooding include Imphal West, Imphal East, Kangpokpi, Senapati, Thobal and Bishnipur. The government has initiated rescue and relief operations in the affected areas and the public holiday has been declared to facilitate smooth evacuation and relief work. The situation is being closely monitored and the government is taking all necessary steps to mitigate the effects of the flooding. Presently, I am at uh, Singhimai Waikom Laikai where the bridges occur in the riverbank of Imphal River. And yes, more than 1,000 houses have been affected due to the overflowing of water from the Imphal River through the bridges. And uh, right now, uh, I have been joined by the chairman of Loktak Development Authority. And uh, he has been inspecting all those uh, affecting houses as well as uh, the bridges. So let's know uh, what are the details that he have. Sir, you have, you have inspected all the affected houses as well as the bridge, bridge yeah. in the uh, Imphal River. So what are the uh, scenarios that you have witnessed? This is really this unprecedented and uh, very unfortunate. In the last uh, recent two, three days, rain has been, you know, rainy, uh, this uh, is rain, uh, continues raining in the casement area of the, all the major river streams which are flowing the Manipur Valley, mainly the Imphal Valley. So, the, most of the rivers and the streams are overflow and uh, so it's uh, becoming this water is flowing inside the human habitats and so many uh, locality of the Imphal area as really is a great uh, danger and uh, all the human habitats has been affected seriously and it's said administration led by honorable chief minister and uh, chief secretary and other uh, stakeholder departments are in collaboration and the development authority is one of the uh, stakeholder for rescue operation and since yesterday we have been uh, pressed uh, uh, the spot for uh, for uh, rescue operation of the these affected peoples and the life is a property we are trying our best now state government led by chief minister and honorable minister the concerned local mla who is also minister mr kamsan also very much proactive he is always uh, on the spot and chief minister constantly monitoring from uh, every hour he is uh, reviewing the situation and this is district administration also at the spot and, and some rifle apart from state administration and agencies the some rifle in the armies and other agencies also uh, rendering their service in this difficult time so it's a collective effort so hopefully in the next one or two days the rescue operation may be completed the, the state administration and collaboration with the district administration already open these relief camps for uh, giving shelter for the all the affected people who are uh, who are shifted from the inundated houses and uh, human habitation. So we are the state government is very much proactive and trying. This is disaster. So still trying to provide all the necessary basic emergency service like shelter for uh, their uh, uh, taking shelter and uh, plus uh, necessary food and uh, the cloth uh, now state government is now providing it in different relief relief camps were open nearby areas which are in a separate place yeah incessant rainfall in manipur have been affecting thousands of people and the water level of various river particularly the imphal and the iril and the Kongba River have risen as well as bridges in 
these three rivers have caused flood. As you can witness that presently I am at Thambalkong at Imphal East where the excess water that was flowed from the Iril River have affecting uh, around five square kilometer area and affecting more than 5,000 family as well as in Singjame Assembly Constituency 2 uh, the breaches in Singjame Waikong have been also affecting more than 10,000 people that have, which affects Singjame Kawa, Kanchipur and other major places even temples and the police stations of Singjame was also inundated due to the flood and uh, this is under Kratika Assembly Constituency and presently I am at Thambalkong where people have been shifting uh, to a safer places, to a dry places and even rescue operations have been still going on conducted by security forces including Manipur Police, Assam Rifles, Indian Army, NDRF, SDRF, Loktak Development Authority and Village Volunteers. And still now uh, we didn't have any report of a casualty or injuries in this uh, flood that occurred since uh, yesterday late evening. And still now government of Manipur is trying to control the situation and taking various steps, even relief camps have been opened uh, to, to provide a shelter to all those affected peoples. And uh, majorly the DC office of Imphal East is also uh, inundated due to the uh, flash flood as well as uh, the Purampar police station, Kawa police station are the main uh, offices of uh, government of Manipur that have been uh, inundated had been so much uh, in this flash, flash flood and let's see what uh, will be the further action of the government about uh, tackling the situation and uh, providing relief to the affected peoples in Manipur. For now, with Kenma Pashan Roshan, this is Lucky Lai Lakpam reporting for Notice Live from Imphal.